Product inserts. Product inserts are simply cards, letters or flyers you place inside your product packaging. This is a great way of getting a marketing message to your customers. Best of all, you are not going to pay anything to have it delivered to your customer because it's going to be going inside your product packaging anyway. The only cost will be getting the insert created and delivered to whoever packages your products for you. Now you can use product inserts in a variety of ways. Cross-selling your other products if you have them, getting an important message to your customers, adding instructions for any kind of product that might be a little complicated, or building a customer email list, which is what we are going to be concentrating on. Now obviously we're talking about reviews and the most effective way to get reviews from product inserts is to use them to create an email list from your customers. The great thing about building your own list is that you can market to them however you want, unlike with the Amazon email service. So you can be more direct with your review requests and also selling other products. To build your list, you need to offer your customers something in exchange for their email address. You can offer them a coupon code for another one of your products or to purchase the same item again if it is something you need more than one of or need to use on a monthly basis. You can tell them being part of your list will mean they will receive coupons or discounts for future products from you or other partners' products. Now, depending on the type of product, you can offer them a year-long warranty or even a lifetime warranty. This is a particularly effective strategy. The optimum method is to use an insert to offer your customer something. We recommend a coupon code for a discount, and you should use single-use codes for this and we will be discussing that later in this module. Alternatively, if it suits your product, a free lifetime warranty, as I just mentioned. And again, this is a very effective strategy. On the insert, inside your packaging, you give them a link to your landing page. A landing page is literally what it sounds like. It's a place where they land. On that landing page, you have some information and you also have an opt-in form, which is where they put their name and email address and it captures that email address and it's attached to an autoresponder. Then you set your autoresponder to send them an email asking them for a review after a period of time, which normally is however long it takes them to evaluate your product. So what are you going to need? Obviously the first thing you're going to need is the insert. Now there are a lot of places you can get these designed and or printed for you. For instance, you can use Fiverr using the search flyer, not insert. 99designs.com is another place you can go, but they tend to be pretty expensive. Lastly, and probably the best method, is to ask whoever created, designed and or printed your labels for your product, or even your supplier or manufacturer. They are used to having inserts inside the packaging, so they will probably be able to give you some really good recommendations. Now I will show you some example inserts at the end of this lesson. The autoresponder. This service will connect to your opt-in form on your landing page and add your customer's email to a list, which you control. Once they are added to a list, you are able to send emails to them with offers or requests for reviews or anything you wish. Now, there are a lot of different options for autoresponders, which we have listed below this video. Take a look at them and choose the service and package which best suits your business. However, we will be looking at autoresponders a little closer later in this module. All of these services provide you with great tutorials on how to set up your autoresponder and your email sequence. However, if you have any questions regarding setup, then please do post your question in the community and there will be someone who's used your particular service who will be able to help. Landing page. Now, there are two alternatives for creating a landing page. If you have a website, you can create the page on your site. If it's a HTML site, you can go and get one created at fiverr.com if you don't know how to do it. And if you have a WordPress site, we recommend using amzcouponserver.com. And we will be discussing that later in this module. If you do not have a website, you can use leadpages.com because they will host the landing page for you. Now, both amzcouponserver.com and leadpages.net have extensive tutorials on setting up your opt-in forms. And we will be looking at landing pages a little closer later in this module. Now, before we get to the end of this lesson, let's go and take a look at some example inserts. Now, I'm only going to show you a few because obviously there are so many different kinds of products out there, it would be impossible to show you inserts for all of them. You are going to have to use your own imagination to a certain extent, and use your designers, whoever you're getting to do it for you. Remember, they're experts at this. They will be able to give you great advice. All you need to do is tell them what it needs to do. 
So the first place I do recommend you go and look at is Shopify. Shopify's blog is an incredible resource for e-commerce. And this is where I found this article, which you will find useful. Now you can see they have an example here. Thank you, here's 25% off your next order. And then you would add underneath a link that goes to your website. And one other thing to mention, if your website is a very long domain name, then use a shortening service like Bitly. Now you can actually go down and look, there's a lot of really good content on here. It tells you what you can do with them, what types there are. For instance, this discount offer, this is a really effective way of getting people onto your list. You could use either of these, $10 off, 30% off, or whatever amount you want to give off. And instead of putting the coupon code underneath, you give them a link to your landing page. Now, feel free to go and examine this article on your, in your own time. It's well worth reading. Now we're just gonna look at some other examples. So obviously this is a very basic one too. It, it's a piece of paper that, that is essentially filling a lot of the box. So when they first open it, that's the first thing they see. And you can see big letters, special offers for you. Underneath, they would have a link again to the website or landing page. This is where you could put, get your lifetime warranty here with a link underneath. Another really good one is using a two-sided one and just having a big stop sign in the middle of it and then PTO and then they turn it over and that's where you put your message. Another very effective way of getting people onto your list is to give them a handwritten thank you note. For instance, this one here underneath, you could put PS to get a lifetime warranty or to get 50% off the next product. Go to this link. Remember, use a shortener if your domain name is very long. You want to make it as easy as possible for the person reading it to be able to type it in. Now here is a ton. Now you can find this yourself by just going to Google Images and typing in coupon code flyers. You'll get some great ideas here. Find one that you like the look of that maybe matches the look and feel of your brand or product and go for that. This one jumps out at me. You can see here clearance 30% off. But it's not the message I'm talking about here. It's got a nice image and the main part of it, the 30% off, nice big letters so you can't miss it. It's another one that's quite nice, quite like it. It's in the bag. Again, you'd obviously change the message to suit the message that you want to use. But feel free to go and have a look through these. As I said, go to Google Images and type in coupon code flyers. You don't have to use coupon codes, remember? You can use the lifetime warranty if you wish. They're just really good examples of coupon flyers. Now Fiverr.com, this is a really good place to get your flyers or your inserts created for you and very cheaply. Use terms like marketing flyers, then go and have a look at the individual gigs and see if there's any that you like the look of. Always look for ones that have hiked that come recommended. For instance, if we look at this one, you can see it's got 12 five-star reviews, so that's pretty good. But always bear that in mind when you're looking and comparing gigs. And that's the number of reviews they've got and what the rating is. Another example is you can use product flyers. Again, you'll probably get a lot of the same gigs being shown to you, but just use different types of search terms to find different people. And lastly, coupon code flyer. Again, different kind of options. And you can also use the word postcard. So coupon code postcard or coupon postcard, anything along those lines. Now, lastly, another really good way of getting examples of inserts and getting ideas is check what you buy. I'm sure most of you buy something online at some point or other from one company or another. Always check out the packaging and always check out if they've got inserts and what type of inserts they're using. So now you've learned how you can use inserts to get your customers onto your own list where you can ask them for a review or pretty much anything you like. In the next lesson, you're going to learn all about product discounts and coupon codes. That's it for this lesson. Take care. <music>